well, this is great now because now that we have this expression for the integrated rate law expression for the concentration of P, we can actually just now move backwards. And so you recall to get to this concentration of P, what we had to do was we used this, this concentration or this conservation of moles expression to solve for the concentration of I, which we were only able to do by using the pre-equilibrium example or pre-equilibrium approximation to get this concentration of A. So this is pre-equilibrium. This guy came from conservation of moles. And so now that we have this concentration of P, we can just substitute that back into here and get our concentration of I. And once we have our concentration of I, we can then just substitute that back into there. And then we have our concentration of A. So let's do those two things and get our, our all three of our integrated rate law expressions. So here we've got our concentration of I is equal to Kf over Kf plus Kr times the concentration of A0 minus the concentration of P. If I substitute in the concentration of P, so I've got the concentration of I is equal to Kf over Kf plus Kr. I have that times my concentration of A0, and that's going to be minus the concentration of A0 times 1 minus E raised to the power of negative Kf kp over kf plus kr times t. And I'm just going to close down a bunch of these brackets. And so then what I can do is I can now distribute out an a0. And what that leaves me with is my concentration of i is equal to the concentration of a0 times kf divided by kf plus kr. And then inside this bracket, well, where that leaves me is I have my 1 because I distributed out that um, A0. And inside my square bracket here, I have this A0 that gets distributed out. And so this minus sign, this gets distributed in to here and here. And so what that leaves me with is minus 1 plus E raised to the power of negative Kf Kp divided by Kf plus kr times t. And so of course I've got 1 minus 1 and so those 1's just basically disappear. And finally my concentration of i, that's equal to my concentration of a0 times kf over kf plus kr times e raised to the power of negative kf kp divided by kf plus kr times t. And now I have an expression for my concentration of i I can take this expression and I can basically just stick that right into here into my pre-equilibrium expression and solve for my concentration of, of A. And so here I have my concentration of A and when I substitute in that, that concentration of I, I get Kr over Kf times the concentration of A0, Kf divided by Kf plus Kr times E raised to the power of negative Kf kp divided by kf plus kr times t. And so then I have a kf on top, I have a kf on the bottom, and so what that leaves me with is ultimately, if I use the correct color, my concentration of A is equal to the concentration of A0 times kr divided by kf plus kr times E raised to the power of negative kf kp divided by kf plus kr times t. And so from this example, you can see that by just applying the simple approximation where if the rate constants that govern the equilibrium in this case are much larger than, than the other rate constants, then I only needed to do one integral. And that integral was just to solve for this concentration of p. And then after that, to find the other two integrated rate law expressions, it was just a matter of using algebra and substitution. And so it's using these approximations, that's the power of these approximations, that it simplifies solving for these, these rate law expressions um, in the certain cases that they apply.